What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Hey, if for you new guy, girl who just showed up, I know you came here for a specific product, most likely, but I hope you keep coming back for the party because we are always doing some crazy stuff around here. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, hang out with us and have a good time. Now today we're gonna be talking about bedroom entertainment, but get your mind out of the gutter, you nasty mofo. We're not talking about that kind of entertainment. We're talking about TV and audio entertainment. Hello. Let's do it. So I'm gonna showcase three items that you might wanna consider adding to your bedroom setup for entertainment. The first one is the Touchstone TV lift. See, I'm a quirky guy. I'm OCD about a lot of stuff and this might sound weird to you, but I cannot stand the sight of TVs when they're off. When a TV's not in use, you got this big rectangular box. It's like a black void just sitting there on top of your dresser, TV stand, or maybe even hanging up on your wall on top of the fireplace. And it's like, Ugh. for me, it just drives me nuts. So Touchstone somehow was reading my mind in the background and they started manufacturing these TV lifts. This is part of their value line series. And basically it's just a TV lift. So when you're not watching your TV, you just go ahead and tuck it away into its little house. And then when you want to actually watch some content, so you want to Netflix and chill, you just press the little button on the remote and up comes, oh, we got orange is the new black on here. <laughs> so I've already watched all those. But you get what I'm saying, right? So that way, when you're not watching TV, you get to enjoy the beautiful aesthetics of your bedroom without a gigantic TV obscuring your view. It comes right out of the box as almost a plug and play device. All you need to do is assemble the included TV bracket and the hooks that go on the back of the TV are actually attached to my TV right now. But trust me, it comes with everything, including this bracket. You mount it onto the actual, uh, the arm that goes up and down and you mount it to the wall via these posts right here. So you might wanna mount this to the wall and it also has little uh, screw holes on the bottom so you can mount it to the floor or maybe take a piece of plywood or something like that to make it more stable. Right now I'm on a wood floor with planks so it's not necessarily level, but once you get this thing mounted to a wall, it should be plenty. It weighs about 20 pounds, so the weight of this thing in this footprint will actually hold up to about uh, somewhere between a 30 inch all the way up to about a 70 inch TV stable without even mounting it anywhere. I'm not gonna recommend that to you, but I'm gonna demonstrate that uh, with my TV, which is a 55 inch, I'm gonna demonstrate it with you right here, right now. All right, guys, y'all ready to have some fun? I just slid the TV on here. I don't have it bolted down, like bolted to the actual lift. I don't have it bolted to the floor, and uh, as you can see, it's not connected to a wall. But if you rock this thing left to right, uh, as I told you before, my floor, it has wood planks, so it's not necessarily even, but if you rock back and forth, you can see how stable this thing is. It's not really going anywhere. So if I do my magic spell and say Alakazam, Alakazoo, lift the TV, you hoo hoo, it starts to lift, right? And you can see that this TV, can you see my face? You can see that this TV ain't going nowhere. It's just rising to the occasion, pun intended, and it's about to cover up my face, but hopefully you can still hear my voice. And I guess now is a good time to demonstrate how high this thing really gets. I don't exactly know the specs, but it gets high enough. If you're watching TV higher than this, then you should probably lower it because your neck is gonna be hurting. Before we move on, I wanted to tell you about a couple of accessories it comes with. It comes with this uh, mounting bracket where you can mount either, I don't know, maybe a sound bar, or if you're putting this in a cabinet, you can actually mount the top of the cabinet to this plate right here. You see all the, uh, the bolt holes right there? You just mount it on top just like that, and then you mount this to the sides and you can elevate it depending on your TV height or your uh, the height that you want it. And it'll sit just like that and it'll house your, your uh, sound bar or whatever you're gonna put on there, whether it be a sound bar or a cabinet top, whichever have you. My application doesn't call for it, so I really don't need it. I think I might've mentioned before that it comes with all the hardware you're gonna need except for the anchor screws you would need uh, to mount it in the wall. But I also wanna mention it comes with an RF remote radio frequency and it comes with an IR remote with a sensor that you can attach to the base plug. And it also comes with a plug-in remote, uh, which actually has a digital readout here, and it's programmable to the uh, height that you want it. You just take it to the height that you want it, you hit the program button, it stays right there, and when you press the up button, it just goes up to that programmed height. So if you're like me and you can't stand seeing your TV while it's not in use, you might wanna take a look at this Touch Tone Value Line uh, TV lift right here, because this system is, it's like, it's, it's what's up. Next, let's talk about when the TV's actually on. When it's on and you're watching your Netflix and chilling and stuff like that, see what I did there? You're gonna to wanna to look at something really pretty. 
So why not check out this LG 55 inch TV right here with 4K and WebOS and a slight, I think they call it the magic remote. So LG has come up with some technology when it comes to OLED TVs that is just, it's just nice. And at the prices that they offer, you, you really can't ask for more. So this one right here, like I said, comes with WebOS and you can see that little cursor right there. So I'm not pressing anything. It's just once you wake up the remote, can you see that? Yeah, once you wake up the remote, it has like a little mouse that you can move around your screen and a little toggle where you can just kind of flip through your stuff right here. You got a Netflix button built in, Amazon Prime video built in, and it is programmable to do things like if I press one and hold it, I'll go ahead and just jump to Hulu. It can also control your Alexa and Google devices like this. You just press and hold the microphone, turn off the bedroom lights, it records your voice, and then it starts doing stuff. So right now it's processing it and my bedroom lights just turned off. You probably didn't notice because uh, we have a camera light right here. But yeah, man, you get this TV, you hook it up to your LG SL6, and uh, that's the sound bar right here. So this sound bar really completes the package. The TV is beautiful, 4K resolution, but sound from TVs is pretty crappy. Let's just be honest with ourselves. That's why we have surround systems and stuff like that. This one right here is 3.1 surround sound. Uh, and it's a sound bar and most sound bars don't really do that great of a job at projecting the sound and really filling up the room. However, even though I don't have the satellite speakers hooked up to this one, I stuffed the subwoofer underneath the bed so we can get that rumble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> You're killing me, man. You're killing me. But seriously, even though this doesn't have satellite speakers connected to it, which it is hookup ready, all you have to do is purchase them and it's it will connect automatically. I just don't have them. This sound bar actually projects the sound in a way that it really does fill the room. You can hear directional sounds coming from the left, right, and the center because yes, it does have a center channel. So this sound bar right here, this TV, the TV lift, in my opinion, the ultimate bedroom experience while you're watching stuff. You can get your other experiences when the camera goes off. Look, I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff. I just wanted to show you some nice bedroom tech, man, to upgrade your entertainment. If you had a good time checking this stuff out with me, make sure you go down in those links and follow me on social media. And oh yeah, I got two other channels that are just as awesome as this one. But for now, I gotta get out of here and go make some more videos. So make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?